I'm going to talk about how a nonprofit was able to manage volunteer talent efficiently. And I include myself proudly as one of the volunteer talent. And that's the reason why uh, about seven years ago, I say seven years ago, before, Philipp before the Caspio started the Philippine office, I have already been using Caspio. So I have been working with a foundation that has as its goal really to operate many venues so that there'll be different formation activities like spiritual retreats and professional development seminars so that we can really make them a catalyst for change while at the same time being a better person. I'm a work-life balance advocate. I'm also a speaker for work-life balance and I really would like the women that I form that they become activists, but at the same time, they take care of their family. So it's really a huge forma formation task. So this is like just one of our impact factors. The volunteers that we have are basically like university professors, even working moms, and uh, single or married. So they're the ones who are taking care of these seminars. So basically, my app is an activity reservation system where um, people sign up for activities, they immediately find out whether they have slots, and we have really minimized a lot of things like they tell us, they, they would call us before to tell us their diet, or sometimes they sign up, and then they say, I'm sorry, but my husband asked me to transfer retreat, so before we used to handle all of these things. And I really said, you know, I understand all of your, all of your circumstances, but I don't think we will continue like being into these details. So I decided to come up with an activity reservation system where they can come in and out whenever, I mean, whenever they like, they change. So basically with that, for the past seven years, I have less complaints. I, we, I am now more uh, somehow into the content, into the delivery. Uh, we're talking about the challenges with the pen and paper. Usually they would just call, can I just be enlisted to this activity for November? And then afterwards, then they change. And then sometimes they say their names, and then I pick it up wrongly. So I'm sure you're very familiar with all of this. So my challenge with regard to the um, implementing technology with a IT with a nonprofit is that really they have financial constraints. They really lack understanding with the context of changes. But it has been um, somehow it has been a success. Uh, trip you know, for the past seven years because they have totally, uh, totally understood the benefits. And the reason why I'm just saying that here is a simple Google search that uh, made me uh, discover Caspio seven years ago. And with this, the, the people are attending, even they come from the, Philippi from the U.S., like it's easy for them to book a flight because they already know they have a slot. So it's like I, they get to access the online uh, reservation system from anywhere. So we have about seven types or eight types of users. I have like um, like 3,000 main users, the ones attending the activities, and the rest are simply the ones who are like center directors, the ones who really have to make sure that their members are attending the activities annually. Sometimes the women who are reserving are telling me, how come our husbands are into the pen and paper system yet? <laughs> yeah, how come they just call and I have to make them see that now we are leveling up, we really have to get more information, like we can easily um, cancel an activity, like for example, February 14, the mothers wouldn't like to go to a seminar or out of town on February 14, they like to put up a party for their children so that their children will be at home with their dates February 14, something like that, no? So it's a different culture. So we had to, to we, we could make decisions on the basis of that uh, real-time data. So. Uh, as I have mentioned, we have measured the impact for uh, seven years. There's really not much um, quantitative data, but I can sense that if there are 10 people complaining, how come my husband is still into this pen and paper? I have like 1,500 women who can come in and out at any time. So we have focused less on administrative activities, and um, we have focused more on the content, yeah, on really preparing. Because if I am like... An, um, an activity director, I have to give three talks in three days, then I'm focus, focusing more on that rather than uh, type writing down their diets and what rooms they want and if they like a bathroom, private bath, I'm totally already out of it. Yeah. So now for the expansion, uh, the thing is I'm also attending my annual retreat and seminar and, and we are still using the pen and paper. So the ladies, the married ladies, they have really moved up, they leveled up. And I said, how come I'm still into this? 
So my next project is really to expand it to the staff. And um, later on, the women are asking, can, the women, can my husband also have this type? OK. That will be about five years from now, <laughs> right now because this is also like a volunteer thing. So my next project is really into my full-time work in the university. It's the, called the mentoring system, where um, my university is a nonprofit private institution. We've been here for 15 years, an autonomous university, and we pride ourselves with having a mentoring system. Well, uh, Christina was mentioning that kindergarten is a bit too late. I have to tell you, we are trying to form college students, and it's really, really difficult. But with a system that I tried, an experiment that I tried using Caspio monitoring mentoring frequency and connecting that with their mid-semester or mid-year performance, I was able to come up with a research paper that there's really a correlation, a strong correlation between mentoring frequency and the performance. So this one, I want to, uh, I want to the university to have it in an official way. Uh, when I come back, I want to talk to my university about having this, because at the same time, I am now a program director of the accountancy department. And if you realize in the Philippines, or you might see many Filipino accountants, that means there's going to be a huge number of students. And I want to be ready with that using Caspio, yeah, with the mentoring. And really, um, I have um, experienced the benefits. And right now, I'm pretty sure with the number of people, the number of students coming in, and the number of CPAs, volunteers that I'm going to, to well, they're going, they're, I'm not going to hire them, but I'm really going to ask them to volunteer to mentor my students in their four years until they take the CPA licensure examination. And with this, with a CASPIO app, I think I will have really real-time data. As of today, I will know how many students have gone for their uh, mentoring and um, what are the problems of the mentors in accessing the system. So this is... With a Caspio app, I think that I'll really provide the volunteer CPAs as a, a, a very good user experience, that they can just log in at any time, and they can see the messages of their men, men, mentees. Usually, before the exam, the, the students would like to see their mentors. Yeah, so it really provides them a good user experience. So that is um, one thing that I really would want, not to waste their time, to really have a very good app for the volunteers. So this is an example of the, what I have created for them. Um, it was called Management Mentoring System back in 2014. Now I will make it into an accounting mentoring system. Just a few examples. And with this, I would really want the students themselves to use the system to really make sure that uh, they can access their mentor. And with that, um, what I can see with Caspio is that being from a nonprofit or representing a nonprofit and at the same time education sector, which are mission driven organizations, I really think that Caspio can help achieve that mission faster than I can imagine. Thank you very much. <laughs>